Yes, yes, I'm aware of that, but please, pay no never mind. Why not come in and have a seat? Betty Thompson. Mrs. Swanson. Oh, I'm Katie Olson. Oh, Katie, I've known you since you were knee-high to a grasshopper. I'm Betty, Betty Thompson, Aunt Ella's best friend. Ha! Huh, phony. What did you call me? You heard me. <sighs> Mrs. Swanson, please. Now, Mrs. Thompson. It's Miss, Miss Thompson, but you can call me Betty. Okay, Betty, to what do we owe this pleasure? Well, I saw the ad in the paper that you have a room to rent. What happened to your double-wide mansion? Well, I'm building a house, didn't you know? A brand new one. But it's not going to be ready for a couple of months, and so when I saw the ad, it's perfect for me. I came right over. A new house? Well, of course. It was the first thing I did after I got my contract for the Cockleburn Morning Show. I'm the new food expert, and I get to share some of my secret recipes. You mean Aunt Ella's secret recipes? For your information, Mrs. Swanson, Aunt Ella gave those recipes to me. Katie, can I see you in the kitchen a minute? Why, sure. Prairie Ann, would you mind pouring a little coffee for Miss, I mean, uh, Betty? Thank you. Throw her out on her ear. Mrs. Swanson, what's gotten into you? She is a gourmet cook wannabe. Wannabe? Yes, she is. She stole those recipes from your Aunt Ella. I know it as well as I know my own name. Mrs. Swanson, please calm down. You can't rent to her. She is a harlot. A harlot? I thought you said she was a gourmet cook wannabe. She flirted with my husband... 47 different occasions, and if you rent to her... All right, calm down, Mrs. Swanson. I promise you, I will not rent to her. So just calm down here. Take a deep breath. 